Hey guys, today we are going to discuss Brian Kibler and Blitz Chung. Blitz Chung is a Hong Kong Hearthstone player. Uh, you may have heard of him. And he recently was banned and had his prizes taken away by Blizzard, the owners of Hearthstone. Now this has a major effect on MTG Arena because a lot of people are deleting and quitting Hearthstone. So they're going, these same people are going to want to continue to play card games online. Therefore, logically, they would turn to MTG Arena. Now, what happened to Blitz Chung, I'm just going to tell you the facts. After finishing his final match of the second season of the Asian Pacific Hearthstone Grandmasters, Hong Kong player Nin Blitz Chung Wei Chung appeared on the official Taiwanese Hearthstone stream for his post-game interview wearing a gas mask. He lifted the mouthpiece and shouted in Chinese, Liberate Hong Kong, Revolution of Our AIDS, a rallying cry of ongoing protests in Hong Kong. On Tuesday, Blizzard announced their ruling claiming that Bliss Chung violated one of Hearthstone Grandmaster's rules against engaging in any act that in Blizzard's sole discretion brings you into public disrepute offends a portion or group. The penalty was they imposed was expelling Bliss Chung from Grandmasters League entirely, including retroactively revoking the prize money he had earned throughout the season, which is around $3,000, and additionally banning him from competing events for a year. They also announced that they would no longer work with casters involved in the controversial interview. Uh, Brian Kibler goes on and says, I feel what BlitzCon did was very brave. Um, I have seen many descriptions of the situation claim that Blizzard took action against BlitzCon Chung for his support for Hong Kong protests, but that's not an entirely accurate description. They did not penalize him for his political stance. They penalized him for breaking the rules by using their official broadcast to promote that stance. So it is one thing to... And this is going to be relevant in Magic because there is a MPL member called Lee Sian Tian, and he's from Hong Kong, and he is a political activist as well. He named his 2014 deck Umbrella, the Umbrella deck, which referenced in the time the Umbrella situation, which was a sign of revolt against the mainline Chinese government. Now, if you don't know my background, um, I would advise you to uh, read, I guess, watch the, made, the video on that YouTube tells you to watch. Uh, I was born in 1987 in Shanghai. Uh, my dad was a university student, and he was in University of Akron in 1987, so he wasn't there when I was born. 1989, a, group, a large group of Chinese students went to the middle of Tiananmen Square, and that's where you get the very famous picture of the college professor or maybe grad student standing in front of a line of tanks and then moving to block the tanks. Uh, because of uh, what happened with university students being shot who, were, who wanted democracy, uh, and my dad was in University of Akron, a U.S. university, uh, Nancy Pelosi, a... Democrat and a Republican, George, uh, the sitting president, George W. Bush Sr., they combined and they made it possible for Chinese students at university to bring their families over to America and get green cards and then become U.S. citizens that otherwise would be impossible. And that's a big deal. It is a very big deal to me. So I'm seeing Hong Kong. My parents lived in Hong Kong until recently. Um, so I, in Hong Kong, it's very unique that you don't need a visa to go back to Hong Kong. You can just, if you have a U.S. passport, you can just go. If you want to go to mainland China, you do need to get a visa for that. So Brian Kibler is doing something that I wish more people would do, is if he believes in something, he's going to take action, even if, if it adversely affects him. So he mentions that both casters have also lost their contracts with Blizzard. 
and the Grandmasters is the highest tier of Hearthstone Esports and we take tournament rules violations very seriously. Speaking with IGN, Chung said he doesn't regret that he said what he said during the stream. I expected the decision by Blizzard. I think it's unfair, but I do respect their decision. I am not regretful of what they said. He added, I shouldn't be afraid of these kinds of white terror. When asked what white terror meant, Chung clarified, um, Hong Kong Hearthstone player calls for liberation of his country and post game interview. So uh, everyone in this image has lost their contracts. Uh, and the NBA is in a very sticky situation as well because they're GM. Uh, I actually know the owner of the Houston Rockets. I tutored his youngest son uh, to get into high school. And I've been over to their home probably at least a dozen, if not more times. Uh, really, obviously, they're a billionaire, so they have a very nice home. Yeah, it's crazy um, where politics are ending up now. And my my personal opinion on this is, I mean, everyone in this photo lost their jobs. Is if you, there's two ways you can deal with it. If you want China and its money and its viewerships, you're not going to be able to change Chinese culture. Chinese culture is very unique, and it's been generational. Um, that's not going to change. You're not going to suddenly tell the, the country of China, the mainland China, is not going to one day wake up and say, oh, we really just want democracy today. That, that's not going to happen. So if you, like the NBA, want the $1.5 billion Tencent streaming and you want your NBA players to sell shoes or um, I think Clay Thomas is actually sponsored by a Chinese shoe company or in discussion of that, and you want that money understand that it has a cost it's like an investor if i want an investor in my company yes it's great that they're giving this, me this money but they're not doing so with no expectation uh, one very good example of this in esports is echo fox echo fox collapsed into um, something crazy because they just accepted money they accepted outside investors that were very bad people the same way when I accept a client, you know, I, I look at the prospect. Uh, one prospect that is really vivid in my mind is someone who wanted to raise dogs, which I believe was going to be used like monster dogs. That was the website's name, uh, a, a very something similar. And I believe they were raising these dogs to fight. And I just didn't have, I said, are you kidding me? Uh, another one of the, my potential prospects killed somebody. And then he wanted me to use um, search engine optimization to move his name so his son could get to a nice school because his son was, you know, every time you search the son or the dad's name, it would turn out there would be a news article that he killed someone. And obviously that son was not happy about that. And he was being rejected from very, very um, interesting private school. So Lee Cien Tian is going to be another uh, video because he's very interesting right now. I don't know if he's going to stand out. I hope he does. I um, I don't have too much feeling. I understand why China wants Hong Kong and Taiwan to be part. The one China policy has been, like if you want to do business in China and you don't agree, if you're Versace, your Tiff Tiffany's got called out the other day by, um, I do remember one like t-shirt that had Hong Kong on a separate line. And this really famous, gorgeous model, uh, like their, their version of an Instagram model, right? Like their version of Kim Kardashian in China, mainland China. And she freaked out and just like, and she bought this huge facet. I think it was Versace. It might have been Gucci, or, but like they, she bought it to their knees. And I'm like, whoa, what the blank just happened? Just like the NBA, right? The NBA is... Some people would say it's on their knees right now. Um, and Blizzard, you know, like bought, uh, some people would say that um, Blizzard is on its knees as well. I think Lee Sian Tian is going to be interesting. And I cannot wait until uh, to see what he says. 
because he has been an activist in the past for Hong Kong, um, naming his magic deck the Umbrella Revolution or whatever. Um, and we'll see how Magic the Gathering deals with it. Um, I think this is a real issue for Magic the Gathering. Are they going to be silent? Are they going to... Uh, League of Legends right now does not say uh, the casters... Uh, there's a team in League of Legends called Hong Kong something, and they're in the group, st they're in the group stages. I've not heard a caster say Hong Kong. They just say the the name the team name, and I was like, no, that that's their name. Their name has Hong Kong in it. What are you doing? Anyway, bye guys.